and this is a story about when I saw James Taylor with my mom. Was that overdoing it? Absolutely. Oh well. <laughs> Just can't remember who you send it to. I've seen fire and I've seen rain. I've seen the sunny days that I thought would never end. I've seen the holy times I could not find.
videos don't really have a lot to say the main thing that I noticed was first of all James Taylor introduced Bonnie Rat Ray 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 Bonnie the opener who I mean she's a I, I'm told she's really well known. I've heard the name, but I don't think I'd ever heard of her until like that night, technically. I don't know. I knew a couple of the songs, but it was just kind of like she, he's on stage introducing her. Like that doesn't, that's not, I obviously go to a lot of shows. I don't think I've ever seen the headliner op introduce an opener ever without it being like a recorded video or something and even that I've never seen so I've truly never seen that happen so that was one huge difference another huge difference is that they both sang so many covers and I was like you guys have been performing for a long time you've had long careers and that was the only reasoning on why I thought that they might be doing that. But at the same time, I was like, you guys have been performing for so long and you have so many of your own songs. How are you, how do you even have time to play covers? Like, how is, how? I don't know. But they did, I guess. I was, like, baffled by that. Like, I'm still, like... I know artists now who are like, we have so many songs, we just don't play covers anymore because we don't have to. We don't have the space to because we have so many originals. And I'm just like, these people have been performing for what, over like 30, 40 years or something like that. And they're still playing covers. And I'm like, the only reason I can think of doing that is because they're just bored with their, with playing their own stuff. But that was weird <laughs> for me. I was, I was so out of my element in that. And I can't remember what the third thing that I thought that I thought was just so bizarre that I'm just not used to seeing at shows, but there were like, there were a couple things where I was like, wait, you're doing it this way? Like, this is how you're doing it? Like, oh, okay. Cool. But overall, like, it was a lot of fun. Like, obviously, I got to hear the songs that were, like, playing when I was growing up. And I got to go with my mom. And I never get to go to concerts with my mom because she never wants to go to concerts with me. So that was really special. And I'm glad it was James Taylor. Um, I definitely made a Taylor Swift reference. So, basically, I was still me. Um, oh, I mean, I this isn't anything about the show, but, like, do you know... I probably shouldn't say this, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Um, middle-aged people are rude. <laughs> like, really rude. Um, they also can't read. Um, so... Good luck to them in their life. There, there was like a giant map where everything, where all the seating was, and they were like, oh, Where are we gonna get these, like, where are we gonna sit? I, I just don't know where we're going. Like, ugh, nobody's helping. And I was literally, like, pointing for them, and I think... They were like confused the why I was even there to begin with because I was one of the youngest people there that wasn't like dragged there by a parent. I went with a parent, but I was the one that brought it up with my mom. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> you know, you know how that goes. But there's like a giant like seating chart on the wall of where everything was and they're like we don't even know where to go and there's nobody telling us and I was like oh you can go up there you can you can go that way you can go you know common sense reading directions um they don't do that so that's something um they're also all like really scared of leaving someone behind. Like, they're- none of those people were very independent. Let's just say that. And, like, I get it. Like, just in general, it's scary to do things by yourself, but even when you're in, like, a group and you have to be separated, um, like, there was a bags and no bags line, um, very clear signs saying what was a bag and what was a no bag. I went in the no bag even though I had, like, 
my wallet which has a chain and people were like you can't be in this line and I was just like watch me so I went in the line anyways <laughs> and they didn't say anything they didn't try to look at it they didn't do anything and the people were like Ugh. um mostly probably just because of how old I am honestly <laughs> they were just really mad but they were like can't we just go in the no bag lane it's shorter and I was like that's why it's shorter it's because it's a no bag lane and you will get inside no matter what like I promise you will get inside no matter what they were mad that there had to be extra lanes they were so angry they're like they shouldn't even have these different things or they should have people right here saying something so somebody like went up in the middle of the crowd and was like yelling and they were like maybe they shouldn't be turning like nothing was good enough for them and I was just like stay in the line <laughs> like go in the other line just stay in there if you would have done that before you could have been inside by now um just saying uh yeah they're they're like that without their kids too I, who knew um basically I spent the whole night telling my mom that I appreciated that she isn't like that <laughs> Some of y'all should tell your parents how to act, basically, because they do not know how to act in public. I don't know. James Taylor was great. It's one of those things where in the end I could be like, oh yeah, I saw James Taylor that one time. Mm -mm -mm. Whatever. <laughs> My name's Kristen. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon, and that's a promise.